Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now I know it's been a minute and I know that that is a bit of a title and I'm afraid it's not clickbait. I'm not gonna drag this out. I'm gonna get the intro straight out of the way while I go and grab a drink. Get yourself one if you want. Um, but this, in this video, I'm gonna bring you right up to date on what all that's about in the title with the van and a bunch of other stuff, some announcements and stuff as well, um, and some more videos that are coming. So don't go away. I get the intro out of the way, get a drink, and I'll sit down, I'll be right back. Right, I didn't get a brew. I actually got a, f a frappuccino. <laughs> um, so yeah, lot been going on. To be fair, um, let's get you right. Yeah, so there's been a lot going on. Um, haven't made a video for a little while, as you probably noticed. Don't panic. It's been really busy sorting a few things out and in this video I'm going to get out exactly why, what's coming, what I've been doing. I'm going to hear about the van, obviously the title and what all that's about. So we'll get into that right away um, and then I will follow up with some of the shows and things I'm filming, what's coming and when and um, also where I'm going to be because quite a few people reach out to me and say yeah we're going to put uh, your van in a show and stuff. Um, I, I've got some news on that kind of stuff as well. So yeah, um, cheers. I'm not driving the van anymore. I've had the van for about four and a half years. This September it will be five years old, which is gone like, and I love it. It's not going anywhere. I'm just not gonna be driving it on a daily basis anymore. I always wanted to potentially retire it from being the daily when I was about four years old. So I'm a little bit late getting around to it, um, but with buying this house and stuff like that, there's been other stuff going on. But I just kind of wanted to have it as a bit of a weekend thing, going on the holidays in. That way it won't get as dirty as it does all of the time. Um, and just generally keeps the miles down on it as well. Cause I'm clocking, I'm coming up for 50K on it now, which is not high, don't get me wrong, it's nothing. But if I keep driving it on a daily basis, the way I am, it'll be doubling that in no time. And then I will start to be thinking, all right, if we wanted to make a long journey, I would not be as confident if it was up near the 100K cause you know, they will go on for loads of miles. Don't get me wrong. I know that, but again, there's something about a lower mileage van. You just got more confidence in the engine. That's going to not, not likely to throw something. So just, just, kind of putting the point out there that I realize these this 48,000 miles whatever is nothing for a van and an engine like that especially as I've owned it from new and I know exactly what it's done there's not been anybody else who's had their hands on it etc um, but I just wanted to not drive it every day um, I mean, I have no idea what kind of money I've put into that van you you guys probably have been keeping better track of it than I have but I absolutely love it. It's the longest vehicle I've ever, ever owned by a mile um, because I used to get through vehicles and enjoy a car for a year. 18 months was kind of a long time, four and a half years plus, and it's still out there and I still look at it and go, love it. There's a few things more I want to do to it, sure, but I generally wouldn't, I could not see myself parting with it. So if anybody thought that's what's happening, that's not happening. I'm just going to stop driving it and probably just use it Friday, Saturday, Sundays. Uh, so it will get run and used. It's not just going to sit there um, and never go anywhere, but it won't be working seven days a week. Um, so obviously I need a car to fill in where it left off. So that's what's been up. I've been sorting that out. 
and also some big things on the house because you haven't really heard a few people have been saying project h what's happening um so as an announcement really before i get into what i'm going to be driving um yeah um the mod shop not happening not happening the reason i bought this house mod shop not happening um but something better is going to happen so i if you're into the project h kind of stuff i'm going to be doing a video separately where i just do an update on where we're at what i've done um and because i've got all the original footage do something cool for people that enjoy that content and i will fill you in on why the mod shop is not happening and all that and why i've done nothing because that's not like me um and also on the van itself, I still have a few more plans to, uh, mostly interior wise, to make some changes to it, which um, I'll be excited to bring to the channel soon. One thing to um, update you on, I've been asked many, many times, is your van gonna be in the show? Is your van gonna be in the show? And it's always a no, because I go there to film the shows and put in a van in the show completely, you just condemn me being able to go and do what I do. So I've never actually entered it into a show or anything or taken it in, but I am about to. So if anybody is going to Tatton Park on the 5th, I think it is, Sunday it is. So if it's the 5th or the 6th of August, then the van will actually be in the show on the new Texa stand. So the guys who supplied the brakes on my van, which I know a lot of you have been interested in and followed through with purchasing, I'm gonna be on their stand with the van. So if you fancy a look at the van in the flesh, then it will be at Tatton Park on Sunday the 5th, I think it is, of August. Um, so yeah, but why not come along and take a look? I will be there, I'll be filming that show which I have not been to before and I hear good things, so kind of excited about all that. Um, so yeah, if you want to come and say hi, have a look at the van in the flesh, that's where it's going to be. Um, so yeah, that's, it. that's that bit of news. Um, so going back to the car, um, what will I be driving? Anybody got any guesses? Throw it down in the comments below. Um, but I have already replaced it and I already have what I'm going to be driving. So what do you think of this? posh i've wanted a mercedes ever since they got good when they sort of really just hit that net back that kind of spot and they just flicked into them being a nice car i mean they've always had a good name but the the shapes and things of the older ones and the 190e was always nice if you're an 80s person and that but everything else was not really for me but this car is the first car that I can honestly say is in affordable reach and I love it from every single angle. And I kept looking at them, kept looking at them, thinking, 
you know, just scrolling through and every now and again I'd have a look and think, E-Class, Cabriolet, hmm, that shape, not the older one, and you know, the newer one would be nice, but that's just getting a bit out of reach, this one. And I finally said, I'm getting one. So that's the new daily. It's a Mercedes, this is a mouthful. I'm gonna try and remember this. It's a Mercedes-Benz E-Class 220D AMG Premium. Um, it's got the 20 inch wheels on it. Um, it's stacked with factory extras, which is what attracted to me this, to this actual one. Obviously the gray, everything I've got is gray. Um, yeah, all of our cars are gray, so why change that now? Um, so yeah, uh, that's the new daily driver. What do we think? Um, has anybody got one? Any feedback, anything to be wary of? Because I literally have only owned it for a little while, a week or so. Uh, but yeah, panic over, the van's not going anywhere. That's the daily. Um, it's it's um, just really to keep the miles off the van. And as I'm getting a little bit older, I just needed a bit more comfort. A smooth ride and you don't really realize that the van isn't smooth until you go in the Mercedes then all of a sudden you're like oh so yeah that's the new daily what do we think um, drop me your comments below um, no offense will be taken because I wanted one for me I don't do it for other people so you won't offend me but I'd love to hear what you think I absolutely love it I've had a week to enjoy it my wife likes driving it too she's uh, we both love it so yeah pretty excited to rip around in that um, before I close this video off I, um, another uh, bit of an update on videos so I've just shot Camper Jam. I'm just fresh back. I just literally did that yesterday. I just went up for the Saturday this year because I missed out on the camping. Um, I couldn't get there Friday and so on. And then when I could get there on the Friday, the tickets were already gone. So I was just there for the Saturday. And so if you're watching that video when it comes out and you think, hey, you didn't shoot my van uh, or whatever you've got, um, show and shine, it's only on on the Sunday. So if you're wondering why I didn't shoot it because it wouldn't make sense usually that's why um, it rained a lot on the Saturday so I had to bounce around as and when I could but I think you'll like the video check that out that's coming out um, in just under a week and also I will be at caffeine and machine uh, very soon so there'll be some more from there and I'm 90% sure I am going to Transporter HQ as Navis barbecue event. Everybody always asks me what's coming, um, where will I be? So now you know. Those are the few upcoming things. So we've got, I've just filmed Camper Jam. Um, I will be at uh, Transport HQ next Sunday, 95% sure. Um, I will be at Caffeine Machine at the Low Life event on the Monday night. Um, that's a ticket only event so if you haven't got a ticket you're probably too late and the those videos will be coming soon but don't forget as well I will be in the show at Tatton Park the van will be there if you want to go and see it that's all from me just wanted to give everybody a bit of an update and share the daily and what's happening with the van and all that good stuff so thank you very much for watching please do like and share the video it really helps the channel grow and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already I'll see you in the next one real soon. Take care.